I'm back. So now there's math. It's not just drawings with mirrors. So you might notice this looks a little bit like formula we had back with parallel circuits. We have that there's an inverse of the focal length equals the sum of the inverses of the distances. Or the way we end up typing in our calculator is this. It's called the lens mirror formula. You're going to see we use this for mirrors and later we're going to use it for lenses. It works for the same. So once again, most of you will use this key or some of you will have one over X. Okay, F stands for the focal length. DO, the object distance. DI is the image distance. And they can be meters or centimeters. As long as we keep them all the same, it doesn't matter. And then the relationship between the sizes. Okay, so if I want to find the size of an image, I can use this cross multiply. I can use the magnification formula and just use a cross multiply of the sizes and the distances. But if I want to find the magnification, I literally just take the size of an image over the object or the distance of the image. Those are going to be proportional. Okay, so SI is size of image, size of object, and magnification. And we use an absolute value for that. So, some things to know. If magnification equals 1, an image is the same size as its object. If it's greater than 1, it's bigger. And if it's less than 1, it's going to be smaller. And again, these will be all absolute values. Focal lengths determine the kind of mirror. So if you have a positive focal length, you have a concave mirror. If you have a negative, it's convex. All right, and so you're going to be doing some math with the pictures we already finished. So let's start with this first one. As we read it, let's make sure we understand everything. A 1.5 centimeter object, that is the size of the object, is located 9.2 centimeters from a concave mirror. So that is the distance of the object, 9.2 centimeters. Focal length, 2.5 centimeters. It's concave because sometimes they don't give me the sides and I may have to put them in. I want to find the size of the image, the distance of the image, and I'm going to add in mag magnification. All right, so we're going to use this formula right here, starting with that one. So I'm going to have 2.5 to the minus 1 equals 9.2 to the minus 1 plus di to the minus 1. So, calculator time. So I have to subtract. So I'm taking this minus this. So 2.5 to the minus 1 minus 9.2 to the minus 1. You're going to have to add equals. And then you need to take your answer to the minus 1 again. And you're going to get 3.43. So we're going to go over here. That's di, 3.43 centimeters. All right, then we're going to go si over so, which is 1.5, equals di, which is now 3.43, over do, 9.2. So the best way to solve these, just cross multiply. So I'm just going to leave this answer in here, and I'm going to times it by 1.5, and then divide it by 9.2, and we'll call it 0.56. So you don't have to draw. You can already see the size of the image compared to the object, it's smaller. All of these are positive, okay? The fact that the DI and SI are being positive equals real images, okay? You can tell, and now let's do a magnification. So the magnification is literally this formula, and I'll just take one of them. So I'm gonna take 3.43 divided by 9.2, and I get 0.37. There's no unit on magnification because this would have been centimeters and centimeters they would have canceled. Okay, so positive SI and positive DIs mean a real image. Obviously this is less than one, so it means it's smaller. And what you don't see in here, which we can see from the drawings, is whether it's inverted or upright. All real images will be inverted. All. That they just always go together. All right, let's try this one. A 1.5, that's the size of the object, is 1.5 centimeters. It's placed 5 centimeters, so that's the object distance, 5 centimeters, from a convex mirror. Now, the negative is included here, so I'm okay, but sometimes you have to add that in. All right, so we're going to find di, si, and m. Same idea. 
All right, so negative three to the minus one equals five to the minus one plus d and i to the minus one. All right, so negative three to the minus one minus five to the minus one equals, make sure you hit the equals, and then minus one one more time. So we're gonna take that as negative 1.88. All right, so SI over SO, DI over DO, and then I'm just gonna cross multiply, the easiest way to do those. So I'm gonna leave this in the way I had it, times it by 1.5 and divide it by five, and I get a negative 0.56, and negative is okay. The negatives mean virtual. And virtual is always upright. And those negatives will include it. So to get the magnification, I'm just gonna take the absolute value here. So I'll just type in 1.88 divided by five. And it doesn't matter which one you do, SI over SO or DI over DO. All right, and I'm getting, let's see, what are we getting? 0.38, and it is an absolute value, which means it's gonna be positive. We're not gonna worry about negatives here. Um, so we know it's virtual, we know it's upright, and we know it's smaller. Just from the math, no drawings needed. All right, so you're gonna do some practice. Bye now.